before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video. As Final time I'm making this intro because I'm getting really annoyed. I literally can't do intros, I'm too warm. <sighs> literally sweating. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing Instagram chooses my makeup every 24 I was kind of type of video. So what I will be doing is basically putting polls up on my makeup Instagram page and you guys will be able to choose between two different products. So like two different foundations or like a, like a natural eye look or like a colourful eye look and you guys will be able to choose between them. So without further ado, let's get on the video. Right, so first thing, you guys won't be able to see me really but hello guys everybody. So basically um, like I'm going to load Instagram up on my phone. Hi everyone. Um, please ignore my pale face. I literally know I look really pale. I'm so um, with the ring light yeah I literally look really pale guys but my makeup Instagram page um, is makeup by Alice Holmes I'll put it um, like a close up for you guys and makeup by Alice Holmes in case you guys are wondering now firstly for makeup like I usually do my eyebrows first my eyebrow options will either be like a full brow or um, like an actual fluffy eyebrow so what I will do is basically take like a photo and then put um, like a poll on my story so here we go right then the poll will be, do I go for a full brow or an actual brow? Do I go for full brows or natural brows? And then I'll put that up, like on my story and then let um, people vote. And then I'll catch you up after they've voted. So we'll just have like a little look. So here's a little story. And um, we'll be blurry on the camera, but here it is. It's basically just, you know, there we go. Yes, so let like, people decide on what they want to see, guys. Um, so I'll probably wait like two minutes or something, and then like I catch up with you guys. Um, so here are the two brow products. I have the Morphe Brow from Age and Latte, and the Morphe Brow Gel, and these are unreal. Literally love them so much. So yes, I'll just kind of wait and have a look on my story. Please follow my personal Instagram. My personal Instagram is alice.homes underscore. Please follow me on my other Instagram as well, because it would mean a lot, guys got to get them followers haven't you guys anyway guys well one person has viewed it but not voted yet while we are waiting for the brow results like i feel like i should start posting like the other products on there to kind of get um, more people to view it i should have it so i can either go for like a natural brow um natural brow um natural eyeshadow uh, look using my morphe 35 or palette or colorful eye look i'm using my stacey marie be perfect carnival palette which as, as you can see I've got a lot of colours in there and it be really pretty to use. I will now start posting some polls on my um, Instagram page. So, oh god, right. I think I have to put these this way for the story. Um, so there we go, that's another one up there now. We'll have a look on my um, um, first story so like we can make a little start on the brows hopefully. Next one would be... Um, my lashes so we can either have a um, mascara or false eyelashes personally i would love to wear false eyelashes because i love false eyelashes plus i look really bare with just mascara on so personally eyelashes are um, more for me so i can start posting another story on there after eyelashes um i usually start off with like primers so the primers i will use and um, well will be using hopefully um it's a toothpaste peachy one which i love so much it's such a great primer and it smells of peaches it smells unreal i can either use this or i can either use nivea post shave balm just because uh, this works well like it's a really good primer so i'll, I'll be posting them so for primer do i use the Too Faced one or the nivea men and um, we'll find out. The votes are now in for eyebrows and someone is voting natural brows. So I will be doing natural brows for my uh, makeup today guys. So guys, um, someone has voted um, for natural eyebrows. So what I'll need is my little um, eyebrow brush from Peaches and Cream which is a really good one. And my Morphe eyebrow pomade to line in the bottom of my brows and then my brow gel to make like a fluffy brow look. Uh, um, so what I'll do like is brush up like my eyebrows and brush them down. My eyebrows are in really good shape at the minute guys. Like I do wax my eyebrows myself. So I'm doing beauty therapy at college. Like I have been uh, practicing waxing um, like over there. So yes but anyway guys my uh, uh, my eyebrow pomade is dried out. It's so bad. I will just line the bottom of my brows and make them look a bit more fuller. But I'm also natural as well because um, natural brows are the best. Right, there we go. So like I've lined uh, that brow there, guys, can you see that? And then brush them, I'll brush them upwards 
and this just creates like a natural looking brow of um, kind of fluffy eyebrow as well there we go can you see the difference already guys so good so guys it's now time for eye makeup and I put the poll up either asking for neutral eyes or bright eyes so we'll have a look at the colour um, Oh, okay, so we have three votes for colourful eyes and one vote for neutral eyes. Okay, I'm not complaining with that, guys. Like, I love doing colourful eye looks. Three perfect carnival palettes for me, guys. So, like, I could probably go for, like, a purpley kind of greeny look because I love them so much. So, what I'll need is, like, my concealer as my base. Concealers I use for bases is the Revolution one. It's really good. And um, so what I'll need is, like, my little flat brush. Also, guys, I have cleaned all my makeup brushes with the... I saw clean cleanser and also cleansing spray. These makeup brush cleansers are the best for cleaning your brushes. So definitely buy them because they are super good. But anyway, guys, I'm going to be using this concealer as a base for my eye look. I'm blending it out um, using the PC40 brush by Peaches and Cream, which is like a flat like concealer kind of brush. And it's really good for carving out your eyebrows and creating eye looks with it. I will be using the purple shade in this palette which is this colour here called Wasted. This one here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, Wasted. Super nice and I will be using the Spectrum brush. Oh, I've just literally moved that the way. Which is like a really nice brush. Really build up like the colour of the eyes with this, with this brush. As you can see, patting it on is so easy. Wow, the colour of that guys. Can you see that? It's so good. I'm just going to pile it all along until we've got like a nice even kind of colour. It's gone totally wrong. I honestly do not like this look at all. I don't like it, guys. I literally hate this. Oh well. Here's what it is. I'll just have to add some more green and hopefully it'll blend alright. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like a Halloween kind of look. But oh well. I will catch you guys up after this eye look has been completed because because um, it's going to take a while to perfect so guys my eye makeup is now done and like I've gone for like a red glitter sunset eye look and honestly guys it is gorgeous I did change the eye look just because that purple and green was just not blending together I was just having a tough time the shirt I used in this palette <laughs> um, was Inferno of the red colour lit and keen and wow <laughs> Wowzers, this palette is unreal and I also use the Peaches and Cream pigment um, in Phoenix and like a ready colour. Try and get it. It's super pretty and yeah, um, it's gorgeous. I will take some more poll photos um, just so people have time to force and everything for like my next um, kind of like uh, makeup step. After primer, uh, like I will be using foundations. So the poll will either be the Too Faced foundation. Or the Maybelline Superstay, which is my fave. I literally love this. Coverage is 10 out of 10. Love it. Revolution Concealer or the NYX Concealer. And then I will be um, bronzer, well, um, bronzer, I suppose. So I like that. Um, my Sleek Bronzer or Too Faced Bronzer. So guys, it's now time for eyelashes. So like I put a poll up either um, asking for mascara or eyelashes. So... Oh, um, I love looking at my phone. Also, guys, it's not that I don't stain all over this dressing table, so I need to keep away from it. But we had a poll for. Oh my god, oh my god, like it's 50. F oh, oh no, it's not. Um, so for mascara, uh, false eyelashes, 22% put on mascara and 78% put false eyelashes. So thank god it is false eyelashes because literally. I live by false eyelashes. Honestly, thank you guys. You guys are angels right now. Um, so yes, can't wait to wear these eyelashes. And the eyelash glue we'll be using is the Jewel Lash Glue. And in case you're wondering, these lashes are the Doll Beauty in Betsy. And honestly, they're so cute. I love them. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Can't wait. Right. These are my favourite eyelashes ever. I literally swear by these now. Um, to take any excess glue off and glue these on. This glue is the best glue I've used, guys. No word for lie. You will lash glue. Okay, uh, please ignore that little minging thing. Ew, uh, that's disgusting. It's like a little blob of glue. Um, I'll get some glue out. I will have to buy like a new eyelash glue soon, though, because I've been using a lot of eyelash glue during lockdown to create some nice makeup looks. But yeah. Thank you guys for choosing eyelashes because mascara makes me look like a man, literally. Finally feel like a girl with eyelashes on now, guys, honestly. Oh my god, I feel normal again. But um, now, like, it is time for primer. 
So I'll have a look on my polls, have a look which one people wanted. So for primer, the Too Faced one was 78% um, and Livia was 22% so like I will be using the Too Faced. Honestly I am not complaining, Too Faced primer is amazing, I truly love this stuff. So what I'm going to use is just, um, like squirt up my hand a little bit, like a few pumps. This smells unreal guys. I'm going to put this all over my face and rub it in. This primer is my favourite guys. If you guys have not tried this you need to. My all two face primers are really good. Really good for all your skin as well this one because it's like a matte primer. Um, it's like it controls the oil on your face and everything as well. Because I do get a, a very very oily throughout the day. But yeah. Primer is not now on, so like it'll now be time to move on to foundations. So like I did put a poll up for either the Too Faced foundation um, or the Maybelline one. Personally for this makeup look, like I would like the Maybelline foundation because like it is a heavier coverage foundation. But beggars can't be choosers. So for the foundations, um, Too Faced is in the lead again with 57%. Still love this foundation. Still really good, like it's more like a lighter coverage, but like I can still gel with it because it is my fave still. So yeah. Too faced it is. So the foundation brush I will be using is the um is Too Faced, it's the Bob Brush um buffing brush by Real Techniques because it's unreal. It's all nice and clean, use a nice all clean brush cleaner and I'm just gonna brush down on my face. Oh my god, this brush, oh my god, it's like it's so soft after I've cleaned it. The coverage is still really good with this foundation, and like it's just a lot more lighter compared to um, other foundations that I've used um, still like blends nicely though and then um, and the colour match is perfect for my pale skin because I'm really pale and it does smell unreal as well which is a bonus I think it is time to put some concealer on to cover them spots on them bags under my eyes because I do not want to look like a state right now okay, it's now time for con can't really speak it's now time for concealer so I gave the option of the Revolution one or the NYX one personally this this concealer it's my fave but have, let's have a look revolution is 57 percent and nyx is 43 so for this one actually because this one's better like it's more hydrating for your skin so that's the one i want to use revolution concealers all of them are so good so i'm just gonna put this i hope this is filming oh phew it is film it is filming thank god for that i'm just gonna put this under my eyes on my chin on my nose and on there and probably just like a little bit on there as well and on there because we need to cover all them spots there we go perfect now just going to keep blending under my eyes wow that's so much brighter already wow that's amazing we really love like honestly the coverage of all of these revolution concealers are unreal look at that guys it literally looks so much brighter already concealers all done now guys Oh my god, oh my god, look at all that hand sanitizer on my hand. Oh my god. Whoopsie. But anyway, guys, um, like while I'm powdering in my face, like, I will put some more holes up. I'm um, after bronzer, is highlighter. So, but, like I put like a little highlighter one, and then after that, like it will be setting spray, and then like it will be lipstick after that. So, I need three more holes really to put up. So, that's what I'll do or while I powder my face. So, the powder I will be using because this is really the only powder I own is the Revolution one a um, matte base powder unreal it, on, like the finish is amazing this powder is like four or five pounds best powder I have used and it's so matte as well oh my god gives you the best finish ever but now time to find the highlighters that I'm going to be using so the first option is Urban Decay which personally I would love to use because it's my favourite or we can use the Blushing Hearts one because that is a lovely highlighter as well. Like they're both really lovely and they're really nice. So while I'll just set the rest of my face, my face needs loads of powder because otherwise I will be a, 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 like an oily mess. Otherwise, guys, um, because I do get very oily very quickly. Honestly, I am feeling the sunset eyes. Fill a pole for highlighter. So as before, Urban Decay or the Blushing Hearts. These highlights are of. Are both equally beautiful um i do not have a favorite really i, was, I don't think i've got a favorite but they're both beautiful look at them and look at that wow anyway i'm just gonna put a poll up now it's time um to do the little poll for the setting sprays so they might be out of a normal setting spray revolution or candy cosmetics which is beautiful can you see that look at that guys 
both beautiful love them so much i'm just going to take a poll for that as well revolution or candy cosmetics candy cosmetics and um, we'll see what people want to put put that on my story there we go on my story then for lipstick we can either go for like a gloss or a matte finish so we'll see what people want and then um, we'll be able to move on to bronzer because my face needs a lot of bronzer so guys it's now time to find out um, which bronzer people want me to wear right let's go on my stories so the two options were the sleek bronzer or the two faced ones this one's like a matte one and this one's like a glowy one 38 percent of people said matte and then 62 percent said glowy and so like i will be using this um bronzer like we'll be using this spectrum mayo 5 brush which i love and it's so nice of bronzer honestly look at the bronzer wow right i'll probably take a thumbnail now guys so please excuse me while i take my thumbnail hopefully i'll be in shot wait a minute i, I need i need to hold this right how should i hold this there we go hopefully the thumbnail's okay <laughs> right and then um just gonna put this bronzer all over my face honestly i love this bronzer i literally wear this all the time i'm not gonna lie such a glowy bronzer forehead i literally have like the shimmer off the bronzer this is so pretty and i love this so much so thank you guys for choosing this bronzer because personally i do love this one now it's time for highlighter i believe highlighter or setting spray yeah highlighter so people haven't actually voted yet i don't think a highlighter come on guys one vote actually now guys we've got a um, urban decay so I'll be using Urban Decay Highlighter. Peaches and Cream makeup brushes are the best. I will be using the middle shade because that is my shade. And I love it. I'm just going to put this on my nose. Um, on my little bridge of my nose. And I'll also be using it on my inner corner of my eye and then like on the arch of my eyebrow. And then it'll be looking pretty damn good right now, guys. Wow. Look at the glow, guys. Look at that nice little glow. So now it's time for setting spray. Fingers crossed people have voted. Um, have left it for a few minutes. Right, so someone's actually voted for the glitter spray, which I haven't actually used in ages. Quite excited to use this, guys, actually. So I'm, I'm just going to make it shake. Look at that, look how pretty it is. And then I'll, I'll have to close my eyes, obviously. Oh, I feel so refreshed after that. Oh, wow. That does give you a nice little glow on your face. That is beautiful. Oh my god, that makes your face cool down a lot because honestly, this room is so hot. Oh, that was so refreshing. <laughs> Literally, guys. Oh my god, my face actually looks so glittery now because I haven't used this glitter in ages. So, time for lipstick, guys. Um, lipstick choices was the Peach and Cream Gloss in Honey or the NYX Lingerie, which is like a matte one, and this is um, in the shade less detail. So, we will see what people have voted for and the most votes has got a um, matte lipstick so like i will be using like a matte so fun times like i will be using this um, lip liner from primark which is like a nude one it was only a pound honestly the primark lip liners are unreal I literally use them so it's like a nude color as well it's kind of match with the lipstick lip liner is all done now so time for new lipstick so i'm just going to put this on my lips pretty good going if you do say so myself so here is my finished makeup look guys let's move the mirror out of the way but um, anyway guys here here's my finished makeup look yeah. honestly love this look so much really nice and glowy and colourful as well like I love the eyes so much they are my favourite part of this makeup look because all the colours blend um, really nicely together I love it so much guys but um anyway guys i am going to end this video here so i really hope that you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below please follow both my instagrams and please subscribe to this channel as well because my next goal is 3000 subscribers so please keep subscribing because i want to hit 3000 by the end of june so yeah we'll get there guys but anyway guys i'll see you in my next video bye everyone